friends, I am Prachetas from class 4th Narayana School, Bengaluru. I am back with another interesting video about oviparous and viviparous animals. Without wasting any time, let's start with O-V-I-P-A-R-O-U-S, oviparous animals. Animals that lay eggs are called oviparous. In oviparous animals, fertilization takes place internally, but embryo development takes place externally. So you must be thinking that where does the embryo get its nutrients? The embryo gets its nutrients from the yolk present inside the egg. Start. The eggs of birds such as hen and ducks carry immature embryo in them. The hard shell protects them from damage. Once the fetus is matured, the egg hatches. The trait of animals, egg-laying animals are known as oviparity. Examples of oviparous animals are tortoise. Snakes, crocodile, and hen. Let's move on to viviparous animals. Do you know viviparous animals are also called mammals? Animals that give birth to their offsprings are called viviparous animals. In viviparous animals, both fertilization as well as development of embryo takes place inside the mother's body. Once the baby's organs is developed completely, the mother delivers the baby. The embryo obtains the nutrients directly from the mother's body. Some examples of Viviparous animals are tiger, dolphin, cow, and monkey. Do you know? We humans are also viviparous animals. So that's all for today. See you next time with another video. Till then, Happy New Year and ciao!